Hello and welcome to Rise of the Data Cloud. Today's episode features an interview with DDA Latien, Vice President of App Development at US Foods. DDA has nearly 20 years of experience strategizing and executing digital and big data transformations. On this episode, DDA talks about integrating data into US Foods business process and innovation strategy, COVID-19's impact on the restaurant industry, the new technology landscape the cloud provides, and much more. So please enjoy this conversation between DDA Letien and your host, Steve Ham. Nice to meet you, Didier. Likewise. I think a lot of our listeners probably aren't familiar with U.S. Foods and what it does. Can you start off by describing the company and its business? Uh, sure, absolutely. Well, U.S. Foods is a national food distributor. We partner with approximately 300,000 restaurants and food service operators across the country to help their businesses uh, succeed. You know, we are mostly known by our U.S. food trucks that you can see all across the countries delivering food and supplies to restaurants. We have about 28,000 employees and about 70 locations, and we uh, provide the customers with a uh, broad and innovative food offering and a comprehensive suite of e-commerce technology and business solutions. So that's who we are. Yeah. And this is all across North America, Canada, U.S., or even broader? It's just the U.S. Just the U.S. Oh, okay. So I've, I've looked a little bit at your bio, and it's, it's very interesting. You straddle the worlds of technology and business leadership. I see you have a Ph.D. in computer science. You have an MBA. You have experience at management consultancies and then eight years at U.S. Foods. And you're overseeing IT, digital transformation, and innovation. So that's kind of how your, your resume defines you. How do you define yourself? And, and what role do you play in the digital transformation and the innovation at U.S. Foods? Yeah, you know what? I would say is that... Uh... I'm more defining myself as a technology enthusiast. I have to say, we really like you know, you know, to see how technology is making a difference, uh, both from a business and you know, day-to-day -day perspective. It's really amazing, frankly, uh, to see what uh, we have been able to do uh, with what technology has to offer. So this is really my passion. And you know, at US Foods, you know, I'm, I'm really. You know, my role is really around collaborating uh, with uh, many stakeholders to really identify how we can actually leverage technology in a better way, you know, frankly, to enable our customers, uh, partners and associates to be successful. So uh, this is a, a great time, I think, to be in technology. Mm -hmm. I know that digital transformation is one of the things you're focusing on. That suggests something really kind of an integration of the technology and the business process in the business and, and really kind of a, a journey that you're going on. If you could describe what the journey is that U.S. Foods is going on and your role in it, I think that would be really interesting. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I, I think, you know, as you know, as I stated, I think uh, technology is absolutely bringing a set of capabilities that is pushing many businesses to rethink the way they operate and, you know, kind of force them to be creative in a way to better serve their customers. And I have to say, U.S. food is no different from many of those companies. I, I think my role, you know, is, is really around kind of understanding what, you know, U.S. food's business is trying to do and where we're heading and, and see how technology can really help them either uh, deliver on the visions or, you know, help them identify future opportunities for, for our various partners and, and businesses. So that's, that's really, you know, how I see myself. Yeah, yeah. Now, before the COVID crisis, if you could kind of describe, pretend that hadn't happened, what direction was your company going in terms of a technology strategy and specifically a cloud strategy? So I would say that prior to COVID, I mean, we were absolutely on track to adopt, to increasingly adopt cloud technologies. I mean, I have to say that, you know, COVID has not changed the strategy, if anything. So I think that cloud is becoming an increasing uh, part of our portfolio because it allows us to really find ways to deliver value faster and cheaper for our organization. So, 
it's definitely still a very important part of enabling innovation for us. And, and what's the structure at U.S. Foods in terms of the CIO's office? I mean, are do you are you kind of a central kind of you know rule maker and guideline maker and standards maker, or or do you actually have a lot of operational influence or control out in the, uh, the different parts of the business? I think that IT is is really positioned as a as a true partner within the you know, the U.S. foods organizations, I think, you know, the way we're organized is, is basically through an area that is actually business focused, right, to make sure that we are, you know, really engaged with our business partners, uh, regardless of the, you know, functions, actually, to ensure that, to understand their, our, you know, needs and, and really engage with them on what technology can do. And then there's a, there's a set of functions uh, dedicated to, features and operational delivery and i'm actually leading one of them okay which one are you leading i'm uh, leading the application team application development team i'm actually working you know to cover uh, a number of functions ranging from you know the strategy and innovation functions you know what we call architecture down to analytics as well as application development and uh, application engineering as well so what are the what what are the newest applications you're developing? What are the most pioneering and and potentially powerful things you're working on? Well, you know, we, there's a there's a number of, you know, of them in the work, but I think the the most known is absolutely our e-commerce platform. You no, know, that is actually a fairly one of our trademark in the industry, but we we do a lot in the e-commerce and and mobile space as well as, you know, in other areas around, you know, big data and and so on and so forth. Yeah. So when you talk about e-commerce, you're talking about your main distribution to your customers is through an e-commerce platform? Yes, absolutely. You know, U.S. Foods is, is definitely one of the leaders in e-commerce uh, in the industry. So when you say it's a leader in the industry, what does it do differently or, or, or before the competitors? I think, you know, U.S. Foods has a, a long history of e-commerce. So I would say it's been a, an early adopter, you know, of, of e-commerce. And, uh, you know, it's it's just, you know, uh, keeping the pace of innovations, you know, adding features, you know, to better serve our, our customers on a regular basis. And I, I think that's what is actually make us a leader. Yeah, yeah. And is there a role for cloud data analytics in, e- in your e-commerce platform? Uh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, like uh, many e-commerce, you know, providers, we uh, we do spend a lot of time, you know, capturing data to to understand, you know, our customers' needs and find better way to address them. All right. Now, earlier we both mentioned the COVID crisis, and as we speak, the world is in the middle of this incredible thing, this incredible crisis, and it's both a healthcare crisis and it's an economic crisis and it's a business crisis for for many businesses. And restaurants, your customers have been hit particularly hard. How is the situation affecting them and also affecting you? Well, I would say that, you know, the mandated closures, you know, have certainly impacted our customers. And, you know, this has had an impact to our business since a pandemic hit. I would say that, you know, you know, many of our customers remain uh, closed. We have seen some adapting and pivoting their operations to take care of delivery, which, you know, we can see every day. And, you know, throughout that crisis, you know, we're also been very focused on making sure that our associates um, and customers uh, are getting the help they need to navigate through, uh, you know, this you know, truly new uh, landscape. Right? And so it has certainly changed a little bit the way we have uh, you know, operated so far, but I think that uh, we're adjusting. Yeah. So your your a lot of your customers are basically shut down. Others are doing takeout. Is there anything that that shift has? How, how is the shift from from doing a regular a regular restaurant business to doing primarily takeout? How has that affected your business, and how has that affected your technology? Well, I think that uh, I would say that from a business perspective, obviously, um, go, doing takeout is very different in some cases than, you know, doing dining, I would say. So, you know, you know, it's true that customers may order, you know, more quantities of some items and less quantities of, of others, right? 
I think that from a technology perspective, you know, our, our focus has been really on, on, on making sure that, you know, we're facilitating the interaction with our customers. And, and certainly we have, I think, pivoted a number of our technologies to make sure that uh, we're doing everything we can do to help them, right? Uh, that actually can branch from, for example, uh, creating uh, a website for them. I mean, actually, we have an initiative called Make It Now. And, and, and you know, by, by doing so, we're really doing as much as we can to make sure that uh, we're helping operators support their employees and, and adapt their business, right, to, to pivot to those new. And, you know, and we're doing so not only by providing, you know, web content, of course, but, you know, through webinars and, and using, you know, different tools. So that's, that's really how we have actually started leveraging technology in addition to what we had. And, uh, you know, on, you know, we're also uh, working, uh, you know, with our various operators, less on the technology side, but more on the, on the process to, 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 to find ways to, for, for them to operate in, uh, in this environment. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, could you go a little deeper on that make it now initiative? What exactly is it? What's the purpose? What's the technology or the data role in it? So I think that this, I would say from a data perspective, I would say make it now is more from a pure content perspective. And so, you know, as I said, I mean, we're really, you know, focused on providing resources for our operators, right? So, you know, some of the, you know, the content we are making available to them is something like, for example, things like, you know, webinars, right? And, and, and really tools to help them understand how their businesses can be impacted. And we are basically kind of creating those uh, portfolio solutions, you know, to, to help them understand, hey, what does it mean to, you know, do social distancing and how, what kind of strategy can we implement uh, in the dining room, right? And what kind of tool uh, can we actually provide to uh, support, you know, the change in your operations, you know, moving forward. And so, you know, all, you know, making sure that we, we, we spend time helping our, you know, our customers understand how to address those challenges is, is the type of things we're, we're doing. You know, we, we also provide tools, uh, you know, for example, to calculate cash flows and uh, help on operationalizing or improving the operations around, you know, takeout and delivery. So that's, that's the type of things we're, we're doing. Now, You've talked about data analytics being an important part of your company's digital transformation and, and innovation strategy. Are you doing anything special with data analytics in response to this crisis? Yeah, I would say I would say it's a mostly continuations of what we've been doing for some time around analytics. You know, it's 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 you know at the end of the day, it's really. I think from a tooling perspective, we that hasn't changed much, right? I mean, we, we are constantly, you know, uh, leveraging the various capabilities we have, but we're, you know, maybe looking at data in different ways, right, to, to find a different type of insight. And, you know, that's more related to the fact that maybe, you know, some, some of the needs have shifted, you know, compared to what we, we used to be in the past. Mm -hmm. you, you mentioned a different kind of insight. Could you just drill down on that a little bit? What, what do you mean exactly? Well, you know, one of the insights would be, for example, if uh, from, from an operator perspective, is that the operator is actually focused on, on dining, right? Has a strong and not necessarily on takeout. Analytics uh, could be around making sure that we provide insight on how the operator could actually do a better job or improve its operation on, on takeout. Um, uh, you know, that would be also helping that person identify the type of product he or she may need to better suit the, the new model, right? So that would be the type of analytics we would leverage. Mm -hmm. So you're looking for things, that, the, the kinds of food that people will want to take out and that will be appropriate for that kind of delivery system. It could be very different than, you know, the food that they normally have at the sit-down restaurant, I guess. Yeah, that's correct. I mean, in some, in some cases, I mean, you know, the situation has led uh, some, some of our customers to really kind of rethink their operations for sure. So... We're, we're here to help them through the transition. Yeah, yeah. Hey, do you think that for some of the customers that that when things get stable with COVID that they'll actually kind of stick to a different way of doing business? I mean, is this going to be really transformational in some ways? It, it could be future will tell. You know, you hear, you know, in all the news that, you know, there's some of those, some of the COVID impact would be here to stay. And, you know, I think that our customers won't be, you know, will be part of that movement. So, yeah. 
So I, I think on our end, we just need to be ready to, to help them the best we can. Yeah. I mean, it seems like in a way, a crisis always makes people think about how they were doing it before and think about, well, should we be doing things differently? Uh, whether it's a health crisis or economic or weather or or whatever, do you think there'll be any lasting good come out of this? I think you know it's definitely a difficult time, but uh, you know uh, there's always a say that says that each each time you have a you know a, a difficult time, I mean there's always an opportunity to to do to improve on something, and I, I think that uh, this is this is this we're going through a very difficult situations, but. I think, you know, uh, there will be good lessons learned from, from that, I'm pretty sure. 